Hi, this is Sage at the stage and today I'm going to do a reaction to something you've been requesting for quite some time now. I'm sorry I haven't done it before. I wanted to do this reaction for quite some time but something always gets in the way. But finally I'm going to do it. This is my first reaction to Diana Ankudinova singing the song Dernier Danse. Let's just check if that's correct. Dernier Danse. Dernier Danse. So something like that. Basically what it means is the last dance. But before we go into it, I'm a singing coach and I teach singing every day through Skype, Zoom, WhatsApp video call or whatever works for you. If that's something you're interested in, check out my website, singeverything.com, consider booking a lesson and if you book more lessons up front, there are some discounts. So check out my FAQ section of the page for more information about that. Let's go straight to the video. I like the instrumental part. Okay. So it's a very slow start. But it gives her time to get out, to, you know, to make this dramatic entrance, but slowly. The piano starts. Ooh. Wow. This is beautiful and haunting at the same time. Uh, to me, it has that Egyptian, let's say, pharaoh kind of uh, feeling. I'm not sure if you understand me. It's kind of dark, but it's also very melodic and it's very... It, it it kind of it kind of reminds me of some oriental kind of music but very beautiful very different let's see what else is going to happen okay so i like those staccato string notes also or should i say pizzicato that's when you pluck the strings with your fingers okay so this is uh, a French song? Whoa. But this is so deep. This is like... Male registers. And she just has... This very unique color of the voice. Now, one of the things I noticed that I'm not used to noticing in other singers, because they don't have it, uh, she has these overtone qualities. And what does that mean? It means that you're not just uh, listening to one frequency when she's singing. It's almost like she has two or three voices blended in together to make this very thick kind of color of the voice. That's the simplest I can explain it. It just sounds like maybe three voices blended in together. I'm almost like hearing two voices at the same time. That's how that's how thick her voice is. That's how dark and how present her voice is. Very different, very unique, but very interesting. Completely different from what I'm used to hearing, but very unique, very beautiful, dark, scary, but beautiful. You can hear that. It's almost like I hear two voices when she's singing. And it's very throaty, very chesty. I don't know how to explain this. This voice is something so different. Well, I would say this is all chest voice, but it's very well controlled. She's constantly going from very deep notes to let's say some middle range here. Uh, so far, it's not completely high, but it just has this very dark, very present quality. I've never heard a voice like this before. I'm doing a lot of these reactions, you know, and I've never heard a voice like this before. This is completely different. I'm not even sure how to name this style of singing. It kind of reminds me of something oriental, but at the same time, it's it's not like that. This is this is just something new. It reminds me a little bit of something oriental, but more in a melodic sense. When it comes to the singing quality, this is just something new, a bit strange. Okay. 
But it has a lot of breathy quality. For example, listen when she sucks the air in. Uh, she's really doing that very aggressively. That kind of gives it a little bit of different style when singing as well. <sighs> it's almost like she's singing like she's scared. <gasps> Crazy good. And I, I <laughs> I'll tell you something in a minute. Well, nice falsetto there. This is crazy good. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to get notified about my next videos. So one thing that I just can't get my head around is how much completely different her voice and her appearance are. Uh, she's very young and I don't know how much professional experience she has with singing, but this sounds like she's been singing for 50 years. It just sounds perfect. There's no pitchy notes. Everything is very correct. But her voice sounds so male, even more male than other male singers. It just has that deep and rich quality. It just has that timbre in her voice that's that's very unique. That that's that's something that I don't see every day. I, I mean, this is the first time I'm listening to somebody that has this kind of tonal quality. Very good. And the song overall is just dramatic, with the drums, with the pizzicato of the strings with this choir-like singing with this bass drum very nice runs there whoa, very deep oh. wow, this song is crazy Third time I've got goosebumps since listening to this. Wow. This has some of that oriental kind of sound. It almost has that Sevda kind of feel, which is some kind of Balkan music. And um, it's not the same. It's a different kind of genre. Uh, Sevda is more with natural instruments, with uh, more string instruments, with something more acoustic. This is more like in a dance type. This is more modern production, but still the singing qualities have some similarities with those runs especially. Okay, so you hear that melodic line, that descending melodic line. It's probably in a harmonic minor. And that's kind of those Sevda and those Egyptian scales that you can listen to. And that was a beautiful falsetto at the end. When I'm listening to her falsetto at the end, that's the kind of voice I can uh, match with the appearance that I'm that I'm looking. But when she's going so deep, when she goes to doubt those dark notes, that just kind of doesn't go together with her face. But at the same time, that's what makes it beautiful. Because uh, if I were to listen to this with eyes closed, I would really have a hard time to imagine how the singer is looking. I would probably think it's a male, but still, very interesting. And she just sounds like a beautiful bird when she's singing those falsettos. Amazing. Now, this is something all these reactions are about. Uh, listening to something that you don't listen to every day, finding something new, and just appreciating all the diversity we have in this world. I mean... To have all these great singers, to have all these different kind of uh, singing styles, it's just millions of cultures, millions of languages. We're bound to produce something different from time to time. And this is completely unique. Love it. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, like it, share it with your friends, consider subscribing and hitting that bell to get notified about my next videos. If you really enjoy my videos, consider becoming a Patreon because there are some cool perks for you there. If you're interested in singing, check out my website singeverything.com. Consider booking a lesson. I can teach you a thing or two. And thank you for all the support, guys. I can't believe we reached more than 50k subscribers. When I started this year, I was around 4k subscribers. And even 4k subscribers at that time meant so much to me. But to have 50,000 of you 
that are genuinely interested in what I'm posting here, uh, thank you so much for that. Just because of that, I will do my first live stream ever on YouTube or anywhere else for that matter. I will probably do it on Saturday, so keep your eyes open. I will leave a post somewhere and uh, I will let you know when the time is right. What can I say? I enjoy having you here. You look wonderful and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.